Hey, my name is Brian Rogers, and I want to show you why I use Topaz Denoise AI on every photo that I'm going to keep for myself, print, or share with somebody. This application does a couple of things. First of all, look at how simple it is. I'm using two out of four sliders. You don't have to know how to fly the space shuttle in order to denoise your photos. This is very, very simple and easy to use. It also has an auto button if you just wanted to do the work for you. So, simplicity is one reason. Uh, another reason is that I shoot a Sony RX10 Mark IV bridge camera that has the 35 millimeter equivalent of 24 to 600 built-in zoom, but it's got a small-ish one-inch sensor. So that sensor, just like any digital camera, is prone to picking up some digital noise. Here is a image that I shot with the camera. It's actually a pretty nice image all by itself. Nice, but there's more to that image. And let me show you what denoise will do for this image. So we're cropped in really, really tightly. There's nothing going on here aside from these two sliders being moved. There's no color enhancement or anything going on. We're just going to give you a preview of what happens when you use the noise reduction. And we're only at 15 out of 100 on the uh, adjustments there. So it's not like I've got it cranked way up. Look at the details that are jumping out of this hummingbird's eye socket, the eyeball, the reflections in the eyeball. Look at how much improvement there is. And then let's look at the feather detail down here. That is cleaning up nicely. And obviously around the head and the body, and this is gonna be the entire image, has all of this noise in it. And now it's being removed intelligently. So let me show you the before and after on this. So this is the image before. You can see that it is the Sony RAW file. And uh, another point that I should make before I show you the after is that Sony's RAW file .arw is not extremely well supported in all editing suites. And so when you run through Denoise, you get to choose what output you want and you can put it out to a widely accepted uh, RAW file like a TIFF. So that's what I use for that. Here is the after. You can see Again, no color adjustments were made or anything, but that is so much cleaner. And you want to use this as your very, very first step in editing your images. That way you're not trying to edit the colors or the white balance or any of the shadows with the noise in the image. So with the noise out of the image, this is where you want to start. If you want to check out Topaz Denoise, I have a link in the description of the video here, so you can click right to it. I don't work for Topaz. I did not commission to make this video or anything like that. I'm just doing it because everybody should know, uh, know about this application here and uh, get the best image that they can when they're having fun with their photography. So enjoy.